Okay, I'm going to try to make this quick. Uh, this is the Stromberg carburetor off the Triumph TR6. A uh, very common problem is the jet valve gets stuck on it and um, will not allow, or allows too much gas, I should say, to go into the uh, float chamber. And um, this is a quick method of fixing that. I pulled the carburetor off, already you remove the air filters off the car, pull your carburetors off. Uh, I just pulled the rear carburetor off because that's the one I'm having the problem with. I've already disassembled it most of the way. This is the float bowl. As you see, you want to look in here, want to see if there's any sediment in there. I've already cleaned it out, uh, but it's important to, to check to see if there's any sediment in there uh, that can get caught up into your your float valve. As you see, you have your gasket here. You can just remove it. There's your float. Just remove your float. It, it basically just snaps out. Excuse my uh, video while I'm trying to do this. But it just pops out just like that. And then there is your needle valve as it focuses. And so see how it's closed. Sometimes it can be stuck in that position. This is a brand new one. Um, <clears throat> it's in there pretty tight. I've already loosened it for demonstration purposes. It has a washer. But as you look at it, you want your needle valve. See how it goes in and out via gravity? That's how you want it to fall. And uh, I was having a problem with this one. It was staying like this in the closed position. When I turn it, it would stay closed. A lot of that could be due to sediment. Um, personally, I had some sediment. If I can get it to focus in there, in the threads, the oxidation that I've uh, tried to clean out as best I can using carburetor cleaner. Uh, but you want to get it as clean as you can because these little needle valves there's not a whole lot of clearance in there and if a little piece of particle gets stuck it'll get stuck and uh, can ruin your outing pretty bad. Uh, I went to a car show yesterday and it got stuck on me and at the car show I had to pull my carb off and fix the problem. Um, anyway, just reassemble it back the same way that I disassembled and uh, you're good to go.